stage two seven twenty, yeah. you will be untouchable over here. Yeah. Because not many people are going to push these. Mm. Because there's a lot of guys out there now, turboing them. Right. So we've done te- 10, 10 or eleven. I got a couple overseas. That's crazy. And uh, people are just go right. That's fast. And I bet you, if I pulled the login out, so that's twin turbo. That's when you come down to drive. I yeah. bet if I pull the login out of that one. Mm. Simon, who drives a black one, is keen. Mm. He's got 500 horsepower, 964 Porsche. Right. So we drive. But I bet you they spend most of their time pootling. Yeah, I mean, there's probably the odd customer that's really on these numbers yeah. sort of thing. Like me, I'm on my numbers. Now when I'm modding a car, I'm like buying cars on. based on what it can do. Yeah. On like, you know, 100, 200, quarter yeah. mile. Um, but yeah, on. these RAs, you've got to make them yeah. quick. You throw so. a gearbox out the back, 30 grand. You do an engine, I mean, engines like 40 odd Gs, yeah. you want to start building the power trick. And they're what, 75, 80 grand, you can buy a cheap R8 uh, V10 yeah. Plus now, can't you? So yeah. if, you, if you wanted a Gen 1 mm. with a DCT, which you always want, yeah. you're always going to want a DCT, um, yeah, 55, 60? Right, for like Gen 1, yeah, yeah. Chris's manual, yeah. like that's super fast. Yeah, but it's not. But you've them. then got to change gear. Yeah, and that's the, the for the for the hundreds, two hundred times, for example. Yeah, I mean, it's that little delay, isn't was it? Was he in fives? Uh, yeah, I think he was like low five, high four. But I think he's almost. Oh, mate, the sense of speed oh, is mate, like because of that pause. Back on. It's Something like the old cozy kick, isn't it? Yeah, it literally, old school cozy. Yeah. But it's because I, I was really impressed with that. Like you drove it. Yeah. And you drive so much faster. Yeah. Probably. Like it, I'd probably say like us, JM. Yeah. You get washed out. Yeah, with yeah. the fast cars you drove and mm. even that you were still stoked about yeah, 100%. it 100% as I was pointing out in all the videos it's all down to location as well but saying that we went on a dual carriage but it still felt rapid man. Yeah. Like, I raced it in the 720 as well on power he goes every time yeah, but as yeah. soon as that gear change comes yeah. the McLaren dual clutch isn't it but like you said about the, the, the McLaren that's going to be interesting with the tune man. they're going to be they're going to be game changers they're rear wheel driven so it's always going to be down to the driver isn't it I mean even in stock form they just squig it a bit and that's where these just every they, time they go. They do, they? but when you, I, I just think for how much money you've got to spend on them to yeah. get them ridiculous versus yeah. how much money yeah. you've got to spend on one of those. Yeah, so talking 10 grand for the Mac, ain't you? Yeah. Yeah. Roughly. Set down pipes, yeah. stock turbos, set of injectors, yeah. E85 tune, and send it. And what do they do? I think they're like 1050 to the wheels, oh, 1000, 1050 to the like wheels. Like that, push it. for that, what is his name? Air Drive Vendor, whatever his name yeah, is. Yeah, 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 he's like, 1250, I think. But I think he's running really. NOS as well. Yeah, yeah. But that yeah. thing's like. Mate, ridiculous. He uploaded runs the other day, you see it? 3.1 just for jokes. Mate. <laughs> like 3.1, 100 to 200. Yeah. He's done a 2.9, 2.8, I think he's done. He's getting that extra sauce, man. But yeah, that's why, you and know, like even my G Charge is like going. Stock motor. That's yeah. not, that's yeah, not, motor, yeah. do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. And uh, he it's beats re- on that car. Yeah, I know. He's done, um, how long, I think he said the other day how many miles he's done, how many years he's been beating the for two, three years. I think he, I saw him post the other day that that's, that thing's done over 400 runs on a dyno. Wow. Because he's tuned, because he does M engineering. Yeah. Um, and I think they said, yeah, it's done over 400 max power pulls on the yeah. dyno. Mate, that's, that's a test that anyone yeah. says McLaren's have got reliability yeah. problems. Nah, nah. Hey, clueless. Because there was a 600 LT that went alight the other day. Because you obviously see a lot of them go alight, didn't you? I like, recall fire the other day. Oh, did it? Yeah. Yeah. You, do you know what I mean? It, you can't blame yeah. the car mm. if either the driver's a dickhead yeah. <laughs> setting the cats to 1100 degrees yeah. because they're brum, brum, trying to get flames out the back or someone's cocked something up in the engine bay. It's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's what the R8 is. R8 had fuel leak. Yeah, I mean, I was I was going to do an R8, man, honestly. I was going to do it for ages, but then I was thinking for content. Obviously, I'm not a normal cost customer. Everything for yeah. me is content, you know? Yeah. So I was thinking with the R8, it's a straightforward build, isn't it? Slap the yeah. turbos on. Yeah. How many videos have I got out of it? And it's, I'm not going to say it's easy performance, mm. but it just does it, doesn't it? You pick foot now and it's just a rocket and out the, of the box. The thing is, like, so you, you know, you've driven Jürgen's car. All right, you drove this one today. They I didn't get... actually drive it, so I did passenger seats. Uh, right, so okay. That's why I'm pretty excited, man. So this is obviously JT yeah, yeah, yeah. in the box, isn't it? Because um, obviously Chris is his man, you Yeah, it? yeah. Um, but you think not many people are pushing the McLaren thing? In the same no, way, not many no. people push the Ferrari yeah. thing over here. Yeah. Well, I think a lot of it's to do with it being real driven as well. And obviously there's not you know, good publicity, is there, on the McLaren that as well? Bad publicity. People are terrified of warranties in the UK. Mm. Like how many people go and buy a 720 and tune it? Yeah. How many people would buy uh, a three, four-year-old car in? 
Yeah, I mean, mine, I got extended warranty on the 720, but, you know, I got four track days booked to uh, planned. Yeah. But once I've done those, then I'm, you know, me, I just want to send it. Mate, just, but like you said, the gearboxes and engines are proven to be solid. Graziano boxes. You know build, yeah. So Graziano build boxes for Ferrari, okay. Lamborghini, Audi, and McLaren. Right. So they're not the same box, but yeah. they're same same company. What issues is it that, that people have had with them? I don't actually know. Gearboxes. The only thing we've really seen gearbox wise always leaves. Gearbox, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, engines. The very very early engines. They had what was known as a, on a McLarens, which you haven't got. Mm. Like the twelve C stuff. They had like two bolt water pumps. So right. the front timing gear was held on by two bolts. Right. And they've gone to they've uh, superseded that to a three and a four bolt now. Okay. And the timing gear used to come loose, mm. so you used to get that. Cam variators. Engine wise, that's about it. But so this all right here. Um What's the deal with this then? So this is owned by a guy called Mick. And I'll tell you what, it's crazy, right? Because you think kids own these things. Mm. <laughs> the two guys have got the two craziest builds. So this one and that one, the guys are in their 50s. Okay. So they're just car Sweet. nuts. Yeah, yeah, he turns up, he's like, I drive it everywhere. He goes, I got a little bit bored. He bought the, um, James listed, so this guy came from, James listed his turbo kit on eBay, which is the one Chris ultimately had. Mm. He bought it on eBay. Okay, the whole car? Like the kit, the turbo oh, kit. Okay, he right. tried to buy it on eBay and James was like, sorry mate, the kit's gone. He's like, oh, I want a turbo kit. And you're thinking, oh, a messer, mm. you know. And he's like, no, I'll send you money now. Never met a guy. That's what I mean. So, and then we built it. So he's had it wrapped. He's done, it's a 2017 car. He's put a 2021 front end on it. All right. He's put a Capristo front canards and front splitter on it, so the front end looks gnarly. Yeah. He's got a full front carbon bonnet to go on it with a big air, like LMS style air scoop in it. Bloody He's yeah. just car nut. He's just that's a wrap. Yeah, it's wrapped. It looks like the blue, doesn't it? That it comes in. So it is. It is a close blue to what it is originally. Mm. But his son-in-law or something owns Extreme Wrap down London way. Right. Um, What's the um, type of kit on this one? So that's push performance kit. So James Cox. Yeah. Uh, so. Obviously, that's that's our kit. Yeah. Uh, and then Motec. Motec, yeah. It's got fuel pump in it, mm. set of injectors, and that did 10, 10 20 on my dyno. Wow. Running 0.8 bar. Yeah. 0.8 bar. Mate, I don't Because you get to a certain point where the inlet manifolds can't take the boost. Right. Because they're only plastic inlet manifolds. Mm. They're not designed to be a you know a bar and bar and a bit of pressure. Can I do it in that manifold for this or? You can do, but it's like what ten grand for an inlet manifold. Yeah. How much is the low tech? Uh, nine nine grand. Yeah. yeah. So about the same as a Cybex. I haven't got a kit here actually. Can you map these on the stock EC or? You can do. My problem with boosting an R8 or a Lambo on stock ECU, which is why everyone ultimately has stopped doing it, mm. is you've got no safeties. Okay. So the ECU is not designed to be boosted yeah so on the motec i can put fuel pressure safety in so fuel pressure drops like kill a like gtr It'll go in limo and, sort of. yeah. and you've got to protect it because yeah. the rate of change on the engine side is so fast your acceler your acceleration speed is so fast mm. the force you're putting into it is so high you get a problem you'll find out when it starts knocking or you know yeah there can't be any uh, margin for error in this because it's big fucking money isn't it yeah. as, I, as i was making a point earlier 80 grand used but like then 30 grand for bought. yeah yeah blows the press mean? engine out of band 40 g's yeah, fucking, uh, yeah. crazy and they are they are strong but everything has a everything has a point you know yeah what yeah. have you gone for on your gtr have you got cybex or motex on cybex, it? You got yeah. cybex on? Yeah. yeah yeah but again it gives you so you've got Lean trip out. So if it runs lean, kills the power. Yeah. You've got overboost trip out. So mm. overboost kills the power. Sick. Engine oil pressure. Mm. If the oil pressure drops, it kill, shuts the engine. Motec, they use a lot of them in uh, America. Don't yeah, they? yeah. So it's really on these. It's between Cybex and Motec. Right. Um, so Motec only do a kit for the Gen 2 R8 and the Hurricane, whereas Cybex do kits for both, which is why Chris's red ones yeah. on Cybex. Right. Um, Whereas that's on Motec, and then obviously you know how good Cybex is, your GTR's on Yeah, it. S7. Any benefits to the Motec over the Cybex? Or no, Cybex I wouldn't say they're both, I am I would say, I've been racing British Superbikes for 10 years, so mm. I know Motec better, which is why I'd yeah. say I'm probably a little bit more mm. comfortable with Motec, but like I said, we've got cars, Matt's Lambo, Matt Armstrong's Lambo, that's, yeah, yeah, that's got on a Cybex, yeah. so I've got no problems with it, mm. just I probably, Coke and Pepsi, do you know what I mean? You kind of choose 
they're both good, but you kind of lean one over the other, and I'd probably yeah. lean Mosek. Um, yeah, you know, if my if if I'd got a McLaren, I would have gone Cybex because right. Cybex do ECUs for McLarens now, yeah. so you can get standalone for yours. So, um, would uh, drive trials go on these, don't they? Uh, if if you launch them, you launch them. Yeah. Did you recommend not to launch them? Uh, without doing drive shafts, I would probably say you'll get away with it, but at some point it'll go. So I think uh, I think Jurgen's done a couple of shafts in here on his. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lad. Um, I'm trying to think of his bloody name now. He's done a couple, like Alex Pooch and Porsche. I think he was into doing more uh, VMAX stuff and more roll racing right. stuff. But yeah. basically, you've got a short shaft inside the gearbox, mm. which comes out the right. And then the long shaft comes out the left, mm -hmm. and it breaks the long shaft, right? Just because it's longer and more force. But God, yeah. they're not. You've seen. They're not drag racing cars. No, they're not. But you can if you at the same time, can't you? You yeah. can go have some fun. Yeah. Like you look at Tony at T1. Yeah. He's built his R8, so they've put an Alpha kit on his. His wife's sending that as well. Oh, is she's it? She's like, yeah, mate. She's dropping like low eights. Bloody hell, man. Um, a stock engine, but a built gearbox. Yeah. So they've done diff. Bit of gear set, upgrade the case. Yeah, so what are they doing now? Like 1400 wheel and stock know, engines or something? Yeah. Apparently. Apparently, well, their diners a little, yeah, we don't know. Because you've got like a thousand, because mine's a Maha, so mm. mine's the same dyno as Litchfields. Yeah. That's a heartbreaker. Mm. So I don't know what I haven't done is almost run, like, you bring me a car, run it on my dyno. Yeah. and then say go to a dyno jet so like yeah, yeah. Jürgen's yeah. stands something yeah. like that and mm. see what the difference yeah. is between the two yeah. because ultimately they measure the power how they measure is different because mm. I think dyno jet claim say wheel power don't they yeah that's right but yeah I mean I'm not even like you know for me now it's not even about dyno and cars what the power is of course it's interesting for YouTube me as a yeah. YouTuber bit of clickbait but uh, like I said to you earlier I'm going by times now I'm not interested in power. I think that if I can achieve a certain time, I know I must be in the region yeah. of a certain power. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so yeah, like my M5, everyone's was like, it's not fast and brake. I'm like, well, it's 1950 kilos. Yeah. Right. It's 1950 kilos, and on a on a roll, it's doing 100 to 204.3 seconds. <laughs> so you know yourself that that's a pretty fast yeah, time, yeah, isn't yeah, it, yeah, for yeah. a car that weighs yeah. two tons? So it's not yeah. really for anyone that's. Not casual, yeah, with cars, yeah, yeah. You know that it's got to be around. Do you know what I mean? It can't yeah. be eight hundred horsepower. No, no, and uh, you'd say the similar sort of thing with drag type drag slips, yeah. wouldn't you? Yeah, you know, you kind yeah. of get a drag slip, and you go, "All right, that's got to yeah. be." Yeah. So another issue with the M5 is you can't launch it. You yeah. can if I had time to sort of dial it in and get them to do their development or whatever. I'm just too busy to sort yeah. of. But you, the smaller turbo version M5 with the G25s, yeah, they're doing nine point six quarter miles. Right. Okay. So my car without launch does like a ten point two. Yeah. It's actually, I think, roughly the same as a, a, a stage two M5 with launch. Yeah. So a, a stage two M5 on launch can do a 2.5, 0 to 60, whereas I can only do 3.2. So it's really? it seven temps yeah. without launch. Do you know what I mean? So with launch, my car's a 9.5. So it's the internet's just like, ah. Oh, uh, do you know what? You never. Uh, yeah. We try. I try and keep numbers quiet. Like everybody goes, oh, what's what's it doing? What's it doing? What's yeah. it doing? But for me, the dynos. A ruler for my tuning. If yeah. I do X, Y, and Z, yeah. and I know before and I know after, mm. right? Okay. Like almost like draggy. Draggy's become a dyno now, isn't it? Yeah, no. And, and as I say, I think for tuners, it's probably it's a little bit different now because yeah. before people were like, yeah, I want five hundred yeah, yeah. bhp, but now it's like for me anyway, I'm not even that deep on tuning. I've got deep because of these crazy custom yeah, cars yeah. or reviews yeah. that I've done. It's turned me a bit crazy. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But now it's like. Yeah, like you can tune a car to make it feel faster, but is it faster? Do you know what I mean? But then, it, you know, really it's about the experience, isn't it? You know, it's all down you to the company, have, really. You got some people want a fast experience. Mate, you have a PowerTech V8 in a Radical. Mm. That'll do 450 horsepower. And I swear if you drive it, you'll say it's the fastest thing you've yeah. ever been in. Yeah, And that's what you want. You want sense of speed. You want to yeah. be satisfied, don't you? Go so, home, you, you know. Yeah, like you guys ride bikes, isn't it? So. Yeah, and that's where the fast car thing came from. Because yeah. you get in any car and you were like, me. Yeah, I can't thing. imagine. I can't imagine that M5. That must be bonkers. Yeah, the, like you, you quickly get used to it, and 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 I, I assume that the R8 may be similar. I don't know. Like I haven't. Like I went out in Jurgen's Hurricane, and it's like he just puts his foot down, yeah. just goes through five gears in two seconds. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but the M5 is the same. You just hold on. It just it's got eight gears, hasn't it? Yeah. So it just goes one, two, three, four, and it's 
you look at the speedo, it's crazy, but you quickly, I think your body yeah. adjusts to it pretty quick. The McLaren, where it's rear wheel driven, it's pushing from the rear, it just always feels, every time I put my foot down, it feels fast. Like, it's, I've not got used to it yet, yeah, even yeah. on a drag strip. You're so low down, you're looking up the road, it's fucking, yeah. What's Silverstone like that? Mate, <laughs> don't even talk about it, honestly. Silverstone, like, racing GT2 RSs, yeah. GT3 RSs, GT3s, 4, 8, 8. Like, there was on the car that could overtake it. And I'm not even a, 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 a great driver, but it just goes to show and put me in the 720, not a car can overtake it. And honestly, there was some very well-driven GT3 RS there. The guy was, his lines are unbelievable. Just going just, around all of them. Just smoke. Yeah, honestly, first time on Silverstone. <laughs> Oh, did you see the video? But that's my favourite track, Silverstone. Like, yeah, yeah, Like, from the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, but in real the, good, the good thing about Silverstone is, because it's so open and wide, yeah. you know you can get away with a lot. Yeah. And you don't realise until it starts to go wrong how fast you're actually going. Right, yeah. yeah. I mean, I've done thousands, it, like, as I say, it's funny to compare games, because I'm like, I've got sim rigs and stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I got on it, it was like a new track. Yeah. Like, the, the, the instructors with me, he's like, Oh, you've got experience. I'm like, from the game. <laughs> yeah, you, I know where it goes. You know, where it's the same thing. You go to Nurbo Ring, you yeah. do laps at Ring, yeah. and you're like, yeah. I love a ring. But yeah, I, as I say, the 720 was bought to 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 drive. Do you know what I mean? I'm not bought it to look at it. Once I'm done the track stuff, yeah, it'll probably be tuning. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Let's send it. Yeah, I want to try and make it. You know, no, the GTR is gonna be quick. You have to. The problem with the GTR is you've got to go into full send mode, and you're breaking stuff like 50% of the time, like, yeah. which is I'm not looking forward to. But um, the GTR, you know, I just wanted something like a roller coaster. Yeah. yeah. I was, okay. There was other options at the time. I'm not, trying to be competitive or yeah. I'm not trying to be the fastest anything I just you know originally I wanted 1500 brake and then yeah. uh, he was like well you're going to have to stroke it if you want it reliable so we've gone billet crankshaft yeah. so now he's like well now it's capable of 2000 so I'm like alright we may as well push it a bit more do yeah, you know what yeah. I mean so now it's turned into you know it did the 1889 horsepower <laughs> yeah <laughs> it did 16 on five wheel they're, for a little V6 yeah it's crazy they're a different level isn't they like the development. Yeah, I mean, there's a bit more power, a uh, bit more drivetrain loss, so you need a bit more power, I think, yeah. to be the equivalent of an RA. But, um, yeah, they're close, man. It's just whoever shows more power yeah. in, isn't it? Obviously, getting the power down as well. What's your phone today? I'm mental. Uh, I, I looked for ages. I really wanted, I really wanted like a 570 or. Say again? I really wanted a 570. Okay. But. Um, it it'll come. I got the R8 instead now, so we'll just turbo that. Yeah, the five seventies. I think that's a that's a very good choice. I was chatting to my mate the other day, and you know he's into similar cars as me. He's like, should I buy a seven twenty? Should I buy an M five? And the five seven would be pretty cool because yeah. you can hybrid. Uh, you can. I think they do pures on them. I don't know. You yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got so I've got Owens. So I've bought. I've got an engine. I'll take down there in a bit if you want. We're going engine. Yeah. Uh, so I got engine, I got sets of turbos and cylinder oh. heads, and because yeah. we start to look into developing stuff. So yeah. I, I will do. I've got a customer, a couple of customers now, we're going to push on, yeah, which is why it, I went the R8 route then. Yeah. Oh, so you just bought an R8 in your yeah, engine? Yeah, 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 yeah. Red one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So I'll twin turbo that, yeah. and then I'll lend it to you for a couple of days. Yeah, yeah. We do a mate. mate. I'll have a seven twenty. Yeah, yeah, we do, man. I'm done. Hundred um, percent. But that's the, that's the point. If you walked in here today and go, so. What does a twin turbo R8 actually feel like? Yeah. You can't describe it. Yeah, has and to see it, mate. some customers are not going to go. Here's my keys. Go. Yeah. You know what I mean, Mick's really cool. He's like, yeah, go drive it. Yeah. You know, which is why That's this what, is this what I'm trying to say, man. This is. Yeah, you know, it's hard. Service, man. It's such a, a, a. It's cars are such a personal thing. Mm. You know, it's up there with letting someone else have a go on your wife, isn't it? You, <laughs> you know what I mean? You probably got more chance with some people yeah. than driving their car. Yeah, I'm I'm the same, mate. Honestly, I I, I mean, I, I get you saying it's definitely personal. Um, it's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I'm I'm like, here's the keys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mate, tear the life out of it. Like, do I, do what you got to do, man. With, like, with the car, I'm the same. So, like, I'll lend you. We'll I'll let you drive red. I'll let you drive red one. Yeah. Remind yourself what an R8 feels like. Yeah. But if you said, I have it on your bike, I don't care if you're Valentino Rossi, mate. You ain't riding my bike. Yeah, no, I wouldn't even want to. Do you know what I mean? It's just. Yeah. But so the bike's more personal, yeah. So it was a GTR first then? It was a GTR the I first one you started to tune? Yeah, yeah. So 
the intentions of the GTR was to do the build. If I weren't doing a build, I would not have bought the GTR. Yeah. Like all of the cars I buy, there's an intention of why I bought it. Like the Evo, I was meant to send it to Simon Norris. Yeah, yeah. But then when it arrived, it's only got 20,000 miles on it. I was like, you know clean. what? It's, too it's just a bit, yeah. It's, I mean, the condition is not 10 out of 10, but it's just, it's 20,000 miles. Yeah. It's like, it's stupidity. I'm going to lose that money straight away, aren't I? Well, they're, getting, they're, they're getting, getting they're getting rarer, mate. They get you, you know what I mean. If you went and found a twenty thousand mile cosy, yeah, you wouldn't be tuning it. You'd be yeah. That's why it, um, yeah. When it arrived, I was like, no, nah, this is this is a bit sick. I should have just bought a GSR, yeah, yeah, about yeah. twelve, thirteen grand, and just put the rest into the engine. Yeah. I and mean, it needs to be about five, six hundred brake. The ones I've been, I've been out in four hundred different cars on the channel, modified, yeah, yeah okay. four hundred different cars driven. And the Evo, every time I get into an Evo 6, my God, it just blows my mind. Yeah. And that's why I had to get one. Yeah. My one specifically feels pretty horrible to drive. Okay. The suspension is a Japanese yeah, import, but yeah, it's got yeah. horrendous suspension. Yeah. Uh, the brakes are good, but it's an RS, so it's fully stripped, no aircon, no ABS. Yeah. It's a manual window. It's like a real old. It's nice to drive on the limit. It's responsive. Yeah, yeah. And it's white, handled. isn't it? Yeah, white, yeah. Where'd you, where'd you get it from, man? Did you import I it? I bought it from a uh, Talk GT, is it? Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bought it from them, guys. I Because me and James owned uh, Evo 6 Tommy Mac together. Okay. Um, and that's a blue, and we bought it from a guy down in South Wales. Well, actually, it was a client who helped me start this business. He bought it, um, and we bought it off a guy called Simon down in South Wales, and he had yeah. a white. 6RS. Right, right. Um, Could be in the same. Yeah, one, yeah. Bit, and then I've got a. Cl- no, no, no. This was definitely Jap import. Right, okay. Yeah, this one came in a box, man. It was oh, like, right, it was okay. Like register or oh, anything. no, no. This is. this. He's had that a couple of years. But then, like, Trev, I look after a guy in his 70s, lovely, lovely bloke, got yeah. an RA, mm. and then he's got a trick as. Yeah. 6RS. <laughs> yeah. And he's done everything to that. Mate, let and me he, tell you. They the time really attacks are. it. Okay. Yeah. Mate, honestly. I took what, mine to a time. No, it's a time attack. Hill climb. Well, like hill climbs, yeah, 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 similar, isn't it? Uh, yeah, they go kart, aren't they? They're four drawers. Yeah, no, honestly, cars. like the ones I've driven on the channel, they are up there with an R thirty five. Like, like my off my GTR. Um, you know, I've had a fifty nine plate before yeah. I started the channel, and let me tell you, those on the limit, like, um, I mean, you do get to the point where you can overdrive them slightly. Yeah. The R eight, I've driven the hell out of some of these as well. Not that you know, obviously, we're going to chill today, me, but. I have driven my mates on off cam and they are very, very capable. Yeah. But um, they feel too safe. The Evo, I just think <coughs> the Evo is literally up there yeah. with a nice set of uh, Recaros. So, yeah. Because mine, it's like you're sitting on a bus, you've got the normal cloth seats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like, the RS was. Will spin. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 60. Yeah. 2130 or 124, whatever one you're timing. Um, then you know it's not the same as a real racing no. situation. For, in a racing situation, in the R8 versus McLaren, one, two, three, oh, oh, R8's gone every yeah. single time. Yeah. And then McLaren squiggles the and you're just reeling it in. Yeah. That's all you're doing, reeling it in every time. Like me, I know that if I do do the mods on 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 the McLaren, whoever I'm racing, I've got to get heat into the yeah. tires. So I'm not even on it. Yeah. Like, it's just gonna be embarrassing. What you what have you got on it in a minute? Cup twos. Uh, I've got R triple A, R triple A. Okay. Everyone um, seems that's transformed it, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's transformed it. Weirdly though, I was doing a four. I fastest I got was a four point three nine hundred to two hundred. I even got a four point one eight somehow. I God knows how. <laughs> how do I do that again? Yeah, no, honestly. But I looked at the graph and the G meter looked to, like it glitched or something. I'm not with a McLaren. There's nowhere to put your drag yeah, in. There's nothing yeah, yeah. magnetic. So yeah. uh, when you put it down here, it loses a bit of reception right, somehow. Okay. So what I've done is I put it up in the vent. Uh, sorry, the reason I know it's definitely wrong is because most of the times are not verified. Yeah. As soon as you put it up in the air vent, it verifies the time. Okay. But um, yeah, the fastest now with the new tyres, I've gone from a 4.39, 4.4 4 I was getting. With the R888Rs, 315s on the rear, I'm doing like an average of 4.5, 4.6 now. Right, okay. I'm not sure if it's because the tyres are heavy, I don't know. And another thing as well is when it had the coarser tyres on the rear, on upshift, it used to spin up. Right. Yeah, whereas now with the R triple eight R's, it bogs down yeah, after yeah. shifts because so you've got so much more tire. Yeah. Like, so I'm not sure if because it's not revving up after the shift, whether I'm losing some speed. I don't know. It's just a bit weird. We'll have to have a play. We can data log it. We can data log them so we can look at stuff like that and see what it's doing. Yeah, almost like you're losing a now you're losing a little bit of yeah, boost on shift almost. Yeah, literally. Yeah. It's like it bogs down. Like I did a Santa Pod and I just kept noticing that. 
it felt like it was a bit hesitant, but I think it was just the first time I'd driven with the tyres. Yeah, that and the fact it's probably a prep track, so you've got yeah, even yeah. more grip than you normally would. But fastest thing you've driven? Um, I mean, it has to be really. I'm doing 10.06 um, with heat in the tyres. It does a 10, it's two and 10 seconds flat every, on a, every time. I'm a stock car. It's mental. Isn't it? What about this? the scariest ride? Scary because the oh, one, the one with Audrius was uh, was pretty intense. Which I, was that I know him, Audrius with the S2. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know yeah, him. We yeah. featured his car in Forms okay. Audi back in the right. day, and he was a lunatic then. Yeah, he's an absolute lunatic. <laughs> man. Everyone does talk about how scary he actually looks in the he S2. Don't let off. That is yeah, just, he doesn't let off. Yeah, man. he does look scary. Because, just, no, but you know what it is? Re- remember, yeah? Like, sorry if you're watching. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, but the problem is, is that it's movement. I can feel the movement in the car. Yeah, yeah. So it's not like I'm in an R8 and you stable up yeah, 200. Yeah. Mate, we're in like the cars. Honestly, the tyres he's run. I said to him like, after, I goes, I think it's your tyres is what the problem was. It just felt like we was floating. floating. And under, um, under acceleration when I was driving, it was veering off to the right. And it's not got a smooth steering. It's in increments. So you do this, nothing happens. And then all of a sudden you get you to jump. And it just goes <laughs> boom. Like... I was like veering towards like, yeah. Um, but yeah, that was, as I said, and this is the point I make, there's so many different things that add sense of speed yeah. to a car. Yeah. Like, um, you do 70 in that, you feel like you're going to die. Literally, like it was fast, you know what I mean? I think he was doing 11 second flat quarter miles, he's okay. done it. 100, 200, I think he said it was six point something, so it's, it's a yeah, fast yeah. car, but as I say, man, like if you've got a choice, you just want a car to feel fast, yeah. man. That's what I want, I want a car to feel fast. And um, I think that the more you start modifying the car, adding, you know, coilovers, better brakes, stiffening the chassis, you start to lose that sense of speed. Yeah. For track, you're making your car more capable yeah, and yeah. better handling specs wise, but you lose that sense of speed, man. You want your car to feel fast, man. Like that's what I want anyway. I went out in a turbocharged R thirty two, completely stock suspension, brakes weren't all that, but on acceleration it was lifting yeah, from the front yeah, yeah, yeah. like this. And yeah. honestly, like I rated that as the, the, the most, I think I rated it as the best car I've been out in. Okay. And it, it's just got a turbocharger that kicks in at about 1500 RPM, 600 brake, it's literally lifting. So yeah. But that's, and that, like yours now is so tame. You're yeah. 720, you can drive yeah. it so tame. Jump yeah. in it, Mrs. Gets a pass seat, drives yourself for France. Yeah. You know what I mean? Then you can go Silverstone, smash lap records. Yeah. Honestly. You know what I mean? Like, honest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, you know, whereas now they're so capable. I mean, yeah. what what we yeah, have to, you know, we're not far off production cars, m- not you know million pound cars. We're not far off thousand horsepower production cars. Yeah. For under what's this SF ninety supposed to be? Nine hundred seven or something. Yeah. All wheel drive. Is it all wheel drive? Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's I C engine, front. isn't it? And electric electric front, I think. Right. Yeah. yeah they know, just say four hundred grand. Well, I was watching Matt Farah. Yeah, yeah. yeah he said it was the spec he was in was seven hundred thousand dollars okay so whatever that converts to yeah five hundred thousand base spec because i think the new mclaren the new hybrid mclaren is supposed to be even cheaper isn't it actually i've not even looked into that car so, i actually went over yeah. took me the other day it looked a bit weird um but yeah 765 is the one but i got a friend who works at ferrari he says that sf90 will like piss all over a lap yeah, I think it will. Yeah, like, seriously, yeah. I've got a two and a half million pound car and I'm getting smoked off by, you know. McLaren have done the same though, haven't they? Like, did you see, um, I don't know if you see Drag Time the other day, they were racing the P1 against his 765. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're not the fucking P1. P1 GTR, that's it for me. Yeah. When you see that, those videos of like Chris Harris drifting that around Portland. Yeah. That's mental, I think. 